water crisis is presenting us really with two great challenges. Um, one is an eco a water ecosystem crisis. Um, many of our, of our vital water ecosystems are now, for the very first time, need, we need to think about them as requiring water themselves to be able to continue to, to be sustainable. I mentioned the rivers depleting. I've talked about groundwater depleting. Our wetlands uh, are gone. Uh, the glaciers are melting. I mean, these, without, these, uh, without, without paying attention and figuring out how to manage the, the ecosystems themselves, uh, we are not going to, we're, we're going to be in a tough spot. Uh, we, may, we, may, we may get through, but, but it's going to be tough. Um, so there have been really four uses for water in world history, but uh, ecosystem management now is, uh, is the fifth new critical res res uh, resource. And the, the second, this has also got to be managed at the same time that we should think about our world society polarizing increasingly into this water and water have-nots. Um, uh, there really are different types of water have-nots that we can address in the question uh, and answer uh, period. Um, and man has two choices about how to deal with these. The, the best one is to use our existing water resources in a much more productive manner. Uh, but that requires political uh, upheavals that so far uh, few have been willing to uh, undertake. The other is to try to buy time and hope for uh, uh, some kind of a technology or in other kind of organizational innovation to come around that will bail us out. Uh, the greatest hopes are desalination, gen genetically modified food that uses less, uh, less uh, more crop for less drops, and uh, recycling. 